Hi, welcome back to the Robotics University course. In this lecture, we will study about sensors used in the robotics and machine vision. Okay, to understand subject better, focus on each and every word that I am speaking. Okay, so let's start with the sensors. Sensors define the intelligence of a robot. The capabilities of a robot greatly depend upon the sensors used. To control the manipulator, the controller requires some parameters like joint and length position, velocity, acceleration or forces. These parameters are obtained by the sensors. Okay, controller get these parameters from the output of the sensor and the controller compare these obtained parameters with desired values and accordingly command the actuator. Okay. Looking at the block diagram, values obtained from the sensor are compared with the desired values by controller and accordingly signals are given to the manipulator. Okay. Moving further, sensors in robotics are of two types. Number one, internal sensors. Internal sensors are used to measure robot parameters relative to the reference frame of the robot. So the parameters that are measured by the internal sensors can be a joint angle, linkage deflection and gripping force. The second type of the sensor used in the robotics is the external sensors. External sensors are used to measure the position of a robot relative to the environment. This parameter that is obtained from the external sensor is used for the orientation of various parts of the manipulator. Now, there are some commonly used sensors in robotics. Some of them are tactile sensors, resistive sensors, infrared sensors and ultrasonic sensors. So let's start with tactile sensors. Tactile sensors are basically contact sensors. These sensors specify the contact between object and sensor. Contact sensors can be very basic like bumper sensors that give only the 0 or 1 that is no or yes for the contact. They do not give any de detailed information. While tactile sensors are very advanced, they give the detailed information about contact like it gives the information about force, torque, angle, temperature, etc. So the tactile sensors are sensitive to touch, force or pressure and are made using light, electricity or magnetism. Okay, easy. Moving further. So the next sensor is resistive sensor. Resistive sensor is an electromechanical device that converts a mechanical change such as a displacement into an electrical signal that can be monitored after conditioning. Look at this circuit over here. This shows very basic resistive sensor. It can be used to detect any displacement of a part. We will attach this slider to the part and wherever there is a displacement, the slider moves. It will change the current in the circuit due to the change in the resistance. This change in current is used as a signal to measure the displacement. Okay, this is a very basic type of resistive sensor. It can be very advanced as well. Moving further, the next sensor is infrared sensor. Infrared sensor is an electronic instrument that is used to sense certain characteristic of its surrounding. Infrared sensors are also capable of measuring the heat being emitted by an object and detecting the motion. It can be used to detect the distance between the targets by measuring the time between the emission and reception. Similar to this are ultrasonic sensors. 
that uses an ultrasonic wave in place of the infrared waves. These can also be used to detect the distance between the targets. Okay. Now the last sensor to be studied is vision sensor or the last topic is machine vision. Machine vision is a set of integrated components that are designed to use information extracted from digital images. Machine vision have wide application across different industries and can be used to automate any repetitive task that would be tiring for human inspector that would not involve a lot of effort by the human inspector but it is just a tiring process. The process is to be repeated again and again so such kind of processes are automated by the use of the machine vision. Machine vision is a very important topic from the automation point of view. Now let us understand the working of the machine vision. See this image over here. It has some bottles filled with the soft drinks. It has a sensor and a camera. First, this sensor detects the presence of the product. If the product is present, it indicates the light source to highlight the key features of this bottle. And it also indicates the camera to capture an image of this bottle. The image capture is stored in the memory and is then processed, analyzed and compared with the already stored data. Based on the comparison with the already stored data, if any defect is present, then the product will fail and it will go to the refilling station. But if there is no defect, if uh, the level of the soft drink is as desired, then the product will pass and it will go further towards the finalization. So that was all for this lecture. If you are enjoying the course, please hit the subscribe button so that you can receive the updates for latest videos.